But as the linguists say, the map is not the territory. The line on the map is not to be found at the edge of the sea. Humans build houses on the land beside the sea, and the sea comes and takes them away. That is not land, says the sea. It is also not sea. Look at the territory which God created, not the map which you created. There is no exact place where land ends and sea begins. The large places that are not land, not sea, are beautiful, functional, fecund. Humans do not treasure them. In fact, they barely see them because those spaces do not fit the lines in the mind. Humans keep busy dredging, filling, building, diking, draining the places between land and sea, trying to make them either one or the other. Here is the line, the human mind says, between Poland and Russia, between France and Germany, between Jordan and Israel. Here is the Iron Curtain between East and West. Here is the line around the United States, separating us from not us. It's very clear here on the map. The cosmonauts and astronauts in space. Cosmonauts are theirs, astronauts are ours. Look down and see no truth to the lines. They are created only by minds, and they shift in history as minds change. On the Earth's time scale, human invented lines shift very quickly. The maps of 50 years ago, of 100 years ago, of 1000 years ago are very different from the maps of today. The planet is 4 billion years old. Human lines are ephemeral, though people kill each other over them. Even during the fleeting moments of planetary time, when the lines between nations are held still, immigrants cross them legally and illegally. Money and goods cross them legally and illegally. Migrating birds cross them, acid rain crosses them, Radioactive debris from Chernobyl crosses them. Ideas cross them with the speed of sound and light. Even where idea police stand guard, ideas are not stopped by the lines. How could they be? The lines are themselves only ideas. Between me and not me, there is surely a line. A clear distinction, or so it seems. But now that I look, where is that line? I have to work hard not to pay attention to you. When I succeed, when I have closed my mind to you with walls of indifference, then the presence of those walls, which constrain my own aliveness, are reminders of you. And when I do pay attention, very close attention, when I open myself fully to your humanity, your complexity, your reality, then I find, always, under every other feeling and judgment and emotion, 
that I love you. Even between you and me, even there, the lines are only of our own making.